Budkai here, and today we're playing Valhalla Hills, that's right, and this is a little town I built here, we are in the beginning stages of this game. What this game is about is building up your city, uh, actually uh, many times, many times over, as you travel from island to island through the portal to try to reach Valhalla with all your settlers, and they're working up on honor, and they need, uh, each, each individual settler needs to attain a certain amount of honor to pass through the gate and go back to Valhalla. So that's the kind of the whole thing, uh, each island we go to, everyone retains their stats and their skills and their honor. So it's pretty cool, and I will be taking names for this game, so if you guys want to <laughs> submit your name, we can go ahead and get your name in here as well. So, alright, um, this is pretty much like the fourth level or so, and we're about ready to fight. Uh, this portal right here to go on to the next island, but uh, but pretty much there's cooking in this game fishing You got mining uh, all types of stuff brewing and you actually have a uh, military force as well Right now I have these guys armed with simple axes and just simple arrows and bows and and you can move this military party wherever you want uh, all over the map and There's lots of other things you could do with it after you start building blacksmiths and stuff You can go ahead and move this war party to wherever you want on the map and they will go there and equip or drink beer, or loot some gold, or <laughs> whatever you want them to do, and they'll gain uh, certain combat abilities and stats and, uh, and attributes. So it's really cool. Uh, and yeah, so there we go. It's kind of like the gist of everything going on here. All right, so let's go ahead and attack this portal and get ready to move on uh, from this uh, early air area. Now, I haven't yet unlocked all the buildings. There's still tons of buildings to go, but at least we have the basic buildings. It's kind of, kind of better than just starting from uh, the very beginning. And uh, here's, here's our food supply right now. We got a good supply of fruit, mushrooms, fish. Uh, there weren't really any animals here to hunt, so I just pretty much just stuck with fishing. Uh, and, but there's ton there was tons of mushrooms here in the forest. Every map is different. Every map is randomly generated. So that's, that's all the more fun. Oh my gosh! <laughs> These guys almost look like skeleton guys. That's weird. They got some. They got some decent armor now, or I guess, yeah, I guess just bows. You could go ahead and take a look at what they're holding and what they're wearing. And he just ate a piece of fruit. Okay, yeah, I can't wait to get actual like names for these guys. But all right, we'll do that next episode. Let's move the uh, war party up here to assault this area. Now they'll attack anything within their bubble of influence. But I just want to make sure that I get them up here. Come on, guys, wake up. My God, what are you guys talking? That's right, alright, so we're gonna move up here, and right now, we have easy enemies, just some ice guard, uh, yeah, just some ice guards, easy stuff, let's go ahead and open the portal, yeah, okay, so three of these guys, I think we can take them on, we have two archers and three melee guys, oh, looks like, looks like our storage man that was taking care of this chest over here, it looks like he's getting attacked, and he might not make it, um, whoops, <laughs> and he seems like, yeah, he's not really trained for war, I guess I should have thought about that. But well, it looks like our archers... Oh, there he goes, he's running away! Good for him! Good for him! Alright, good, yeah, so we'll... Oh gosh, what am I doing with the camera here? Alright, yeah, so we got... Oh, we're taking this guy out! Heavy duty! Oh my gosh, so each one of our melee attacks actually does 50 damage. Oh, looks like we split up their war party. Are they gonna bash our stuff? Where's he going? Where's he going? The ice guard, yeah. Alright, we got this guy, no problem. We really didn't take much damage, at least our warriors didn't. Got three tanks on the front. Probably could use more archers next time, but all right. So we're about ready to leave this island. We could stay here if we want to. We want to eat more berries and hang out, but I'm done with berries. Let's see if we can unlock something else on the next island. So let's go here. All right, so we unlocked a few things. Cool, we got a forestry place so we can replant trees that we cut. Oh, that's another thing too, is that in different areas, or actually in the land here, Oh yeah, and they fall from the sky. <laughs> uh, your, your natural resources regenerate and grow back slowly on their own, but if you over hunt, or if you over uh, wood chop, then, uh, then you'll lose your trees and stuff, so that's another thing you gotta maintain. You can't sap the environment of all the things that your uh, guys need. So okay, we're starting over, getting closer to Valhalla. Um, time to give everyone something to do. So this is a pretty nice island, I like it, and surveying the land, this is obviously where we're gonna put our stonemason, we're gonna put our wood chopper probably over here, we need to plan this out ahead of time, so we make the roads and we make the storage crates and all that stuff in, uh, in good locations. Uh, the way I like to start out is, uh, let's get a little storage uh, crate right around here, just to uh, organize all the stuff that just dropped from the sky, because you know, these guys get kicked out of uh, Valhalla, kind of, or I guess from the portal, <laughs> from the last portal, something like that. And then, uh, I don't know, we need to take, like, the master portal back. I think later on there's, like, more portals and enemies that pop up, wolves and things like that. But I don't think we have to worry about that here on this island. Because I don't see any wolves. 
or any other random uh, wandering enemies. So that's kind of good. Oh, we got some hunting we can do here too. We got some rabbits. It's good. Sorry, right, we got small storage going up here. And I think number one thing or number two thing. Oh, we got something else here. Oh, a carrier to carry goods from two remote areas. That's kind of nice. We might I might use that later when the maps get bigger. Oh gosh, troop supply, awesome. Oh, we're getting, uh, oh, we got a brewery already. This is fantastic. All right, so let's do some logistics though, or some production. All right, let's get the woodcutter right on over here. Now, when you see the yellow, that means you're gonna have to build up the building uh, a little higher because it's uneven ground and the red's even worse. And green is ideal ground where you don't have to build it up. You don't have to build a pedestal for it. But that's okay. Let's go ahead and put the um, woodcutter. That's probably a good fishing spot. Let's put the woodcutter like right here. Should be a good spot. And then we'll make some roads to it. Just so people can... Uh, now this increases movement. And then when there's enough travel done on the road, it'll turn into like into like a major into a major road. Let's just build like a straight road going this way like that. There we go. And then automatically it'll turn into cobble and stuff like that. As more people travel, it'll, it'll show you the usage right here. Which I think is really cool. It's awesome. Alright, so we kind of go like that, make a nice little connection, and that just helps people get along, uh, get through. <laughs> now, as you guys can see, I'm pretty roads crazy. I think roads are super important uh, for travel, because look how fast everyone travels on the roads. Amazing. And then it's going to get upgraded. Oh, look, a tree just popped in. That's nice. So, yes, yeah, so we're going to get this, uh, let's see here, quarry under construction. Woodcutter is going away. Actually, might as well go ahead and do an upgrade on this woodcutter. Let's go uh, back to, uh, what was it, production? And tell this woodcutter to start doing some wood splitting so we can get some planks up around here. Let's let's go ahead and put that there. So our woodcutter, uh, Groda, will go ahead and start splitting some logs so we can get some planks up in here. We're going to need planks soon. So uh, there we go. Now I'm taking this a little slower in the first episode just so you guys... What was that? I thought I just heard a wolf or a hungry belly. It's one or the other. Anyway, alright. <laughs> let's continue on. Hopefully there's no wolves yet. Oh my gosh, we're not ready for this. Oh yeah, and we need a campfire for all our um, people who are unemployed. Uh, they can go ahead and just camp right there in the middle. They'll just sit by there and idle around there. I guess are builders that uh, that currently don't have building work to do. There we go. And then we'll start building houses in areas that are pretty dense with, uh, with work. And also our workers who are, you know, storing stuff, chopping and doing all this stuff. We'll go ahead and have places to sleep. Okay, that was just someone talking. <laughs> that kind of creeped me out. Alright, so let's get a little storage thing right here, just because we have such good, uh, such good resources right here. I want, I want people to store these berries in a little storage crate around here, and then I want to put another storage crate right here for these berries. So everyone's going to be eating lots of fruit, all nice and healthy-like. Um, wait, not that. Let's do storage right about here as well. And we can probably store some overflow, uh, stone from the quarry and flint. And we need flint to go ahead and make... Uh, what do you call it? Um, like axe heads and stuff like that for our soldiers later on. It's gonna be pretty critical, so we want to make sure that we have enough of that stuff. Uh, there we go, road crazy. <laughs> That's like the ultimate storage site. Alright, so we got some food gonna be gathering up here, there, right here, wood chopper, wood splitter. It's almost time to make a house. What else do we need here now? I think maybe some fishing might be good, although, let's check our food supply. And yeah, it's just climbing. You got tons and tons of fruit. And I guess at one point we had a mushroom, a single mushroom, <laughs> somewhere around here. And we've made our little hunter's lodge right here, just on a little race platform to hunt some rabbits. So we have a nice variety of food here, not just fruits all day long. Uh, and then I do want to get some wheat growing too. I want to try out the brewery that we just unlocked. We also just unlocked the junior architect too, but I don't think we get to use that till next episode. So we'll see. Um, alright, so I wanted to go ahead and make, uh, what did I want to get along here? Um, got the hunter there, and I guess it was the wheat farm. Yeah, might as well go ahead and try that down around here. They say this needs to grow, or you need to have the wheat farm in an area where it's not frozen over. So let's try putting one there. Oh yeah, that's right, and let's build a house too to increase our cap, because right now, we're capped at, uh, a 10 Vikings, so we gotta build some houses so they can sleep at night and get, uh, and to be more productive during the day. And also, uh, yes, to raise our caps. Let's try to get a house over here. It seems like, yeah, we have a quarry master here working here. We got a small storage person working here, so we could build a house. Well, I wanted to build one here. But it seems like, <laughs> it seems like it's kind of, uh, not really much. I guess this is a pretty good spot right here for a house. Let's put one there so it's in the middle of our woodcutter and the storage person. So they'll pro probably both end up living there as, um, as they're so adjacent to it. 
That's kind of like the way it works. So you want to build houses in between areas of uh, work. All right. And the wheat farm is coming along. We'll see how that works out. And my goodness, it's amazing what can pop up in such a short amount of time. We got barbarians or Vikings running around all over the place. We got a little fishing house here. We, we just got uh, Helge just made the fishing rod by grabbing a twig and a log or something like that. Or maybe it was some leather. No, not leather. I think leather and logs are used to make bow and arrows or sticking in leather. Yeah, something like that. We'll, we'll, we'll get around to that when we make our raiding party. What are you looking for, Bjorn? Uh, he's looking for... Some logs. Oh, yeah, I kind of have everyone like working overtime. I just kind of placed down a whole ton of things So everyone's running around like crazy waiting for resources to pop out But I think everything's pretty much been built for the most part. Yes, this guy is complaining about Oh, look at that. Oh, yes, yeah, right. He's farming all around here. Oh, so we got wheat <laughs> popping up all over the place Oh, yeah, and all the um, and all the little buildings here. They show like what they have um, Or at least I thought this this had some wheat here because if you look at the storage crates it's neat because they show, like, on the ground, like, what's what's in there. So we got some stone, mushrooms, and fruit, and that's what you could see on the ground here. It's like stone, mushrooms, and fruit. It's pretty cool. So if we go over here, we could see the same... Oh my gosh, there's a whole lot of fruit here. It's fruit, fruit sanctuary. All right. <laughs> well, there we go. So, and the hunter is bringing in the meats and the leather. How's our food supply doing here anyway? Oh my gosh, we got way too much. That's good. That's good. So, and the fish is starting to roll in now. Cool, so we got a whole variety. I don't think that really matters, but it's fun. And next time we'll put our wheat farm not in the center of town, but we'll put it <laughs> like further on the outskirts. We're not building around it. But he's like, look at this. Like poor, um, poor uh, Igmardar is like, hey dude, I can't, I can't farm in the city. And it may be time to give our quarry master some more work. So let's go ahead, upgrade him, or give him the ability to be a stonemason. So let's just kind of put that like, I guess, right here for now. There we go, so he can go ahead and make bricks. Now, I haven't seen this used in any recipes yet, but I'm sure it's gonna come up, oh, probably when we get the uh, architect. That's probably gonna come to, to a factor later on there. And let's do the same thing, same thing with the wood color. Let's go ahead and upgrade this as well. Let's get a little forestry thing. Um, oh gosh, he's over here, right? Let's get, a, let's get a little forestry thing right here where the forest is, right? <laughs> so go ahead and like replant some trees maybe, because we are chopping this down at, at an alarming rate. Yeah, look at all, all them logs just chopped up. There we go. What do we actually have in the storage area here? Oh, we got some pails of water, mushrooms. Oh, and leftover logs. It's good. So we'll have like a nice little... Oh, see how the roads are turning into cobble now? Look at that usage. 1,880. Crazy. Yes, people be like really loving these roads. This is a nice little town we got going here. All right, it's almost time to raise the military. Not really under any threat right now. Pretty peaceful existence. Anything else we're missing here? We got the fishery right up here although we're pretty good for food we could use an altar to reduce the aggro and the spawns right here we could sacrifice uh materials oh who's this ice guard oh, that's what we've been fighting oh i see so we need to we need to give them 10 fish in order to open up this portal that's okay though that should be easy that shouldn't be a big deal um oh you know what let's get a brewery going here as well Oh my gosh, where can we put that at? <laughs> it's gonna be like on the outskirts of town. This would be a good spot for our troops to hang out by when we do make them. And it's going to be the brewery on the mountaintop. There we go, we got lots of roads to it. Everyone's, uh, uh, for some reason, working very hard to get this put together. <laughs> Alright, so we got that going there. And then let's go ahead and make sure that, um... Alright, so the brewery is good, it's gonna make our troops strong, but um, we want to go ahead and not have to have our troops stuck in this area, uh, especially preparing for battle. So I think that's why they have this troop supply, so I feel like someone's job is gonna be to keep this place supplied, so the troops need food, beer, and gold. There we go, well we don't have, we don't have any like gold yet, but we could put the troop supply up here where the portal is, because this is really the only threat that we have on the map. So we can keep this place nice and stocked up, get a road going to it. Uh, yeah, someone, uh, someone's, that guy, that guy right there fell from the sky, or that girl. <laughs> She's gonna go ahead and make sure the troop supply is good. Oh, and by the way, like I said, these characters are persistent throughout the levels. So once, once I name them, uh, they're gonna keep their names, uh, throughout, throughout the islands that we progress through this campaign here. They'll, they'll keep their names, and then, um, and everyone's gonna gain their honor ever so slowly. Oh yeah, she's like, she pretty much just got here. Yeah, you see, so everyone has a certain amount of honor. Once they get to 100,000, they're good to go for Valhalla. But we'll see how that whole thing works. I think we have, like, a total of 40 people or something like that altogether. So these islands are gonna get pretty big when, uh, oh my gosh, look at that fish! 
Oh wait, that's not done yet. That's not real fish. Are you kidding me? You didn't even go fishing yet. Yeah. Oh, is that done? Yes, the brewery is done. It's using the wheat and the water we have here. Um, someone should be getting... Who's on it? Jodas. Jodas, what, what are you doing, man? What are you carrying? He's carrying some water. There we go. He dropped the water in there. And he's making our first mulled beer. Don't mess it up, lady. Lady with, with uh... Yeah, there we go. Just, just, yeah, that's right, dude. The whole process. Boil it up. It's good. <laughs> and add that sugar. Um, okay, so everything okay, seems okay. to be pretty good right now. Probably will build another house right about here. So everyone can just kind of, like, not sleep on the ground. There we go. And oh my gosh, this troop supply is amazing! Alright, so like, when I used to make my uh, war parties before, I used to have to trudge them all the way to the uh, woodcutter to get their sticks. And then when they all grab their sticks, then I would take them over to the uh, leather place, uh, yeah, the hunter over here, so they can get the leather to make their bows and arrows. And then I would take them over to, uh, you know, with their sticks to the quarry, so they can get their flint, so they can make their axes. And now, this is all one place that it's going to have all these uh, resources for us to go ahead and do that, at least the tier 1 levels. I'm sure they're going to add the rest uh, as, as, as their weapons advance. But this is so convenient, so now we can keep our war party in one area and not have to trudge them all around to, uh, whoa, to, to get to... Oh my gosh, this is a beautiful looking island. <laughs> yeah, I built another fishing area right over here. But yeah, alright, so troop supply, very handy. Oh, I'm so happy we, uh, we discovered it. Oh yeah, it looks like this house is done being built. Who's living here? Well, yeah, we got Stonemason and the Brewer living there. Happily ever after. Um, wow. This is a serious looking town. And the time for war is now! So, I, awesome thing, I just found out how to take away all the names of the buildings. Just gotta press spacebar. And, uh, you can take away names like that, so that works out pretty good. And I don't want to speed up time. Oh my goodness gracious, here we go. Let's keep it... <laughs> let's keep it slow for now. Alright, so, uh, we're not under any threat, but that's okay. Let's put a military camp here right by this, uh, place here. Oh, let's just put it, like, right here. Um, yeah, what else? Let's say right here. There we go. Military camp there. What we have in stock here? Uh, we had, uh, Lara working hard, stocking this place up. So we got Flintstone, we got sticks. One piece of leather. What's she been doing? Oh, I see. She brought the beer up here. That's nice. She brought all the way down from there. Oh, she just dropped off something else, too. What'd she drop off? Oh, yeah, more flints. Okay, I think. Yeah, all right. Well, let's go ahead and hire some people on now. Oh, that's right. You gotta construct it. Oh, do they really have to construct a military camp? Oh, I guess they do. Okay, so once we get that built together, which should be soon, should be like now. There it goes. Slowly. There it is. It's erected. So let's get a bunch of axemen here, and then maybe like one bowman, something like that. Yeah, that would be good. And then we'll see if they can craft all their stuff right here. It should it should come along pretty quick. Yeah, because they got sticks and everything they need right here. They'll just pick them up, and we'll see them fashion their weapons together, hopefully. We'll see in their inventories. Oh my gosh, look at that. And <laughs> he's drinking beer already. This guy's hyped. He's hyped. He's ready to go. Is this guy going to do the same thing? Yeah, he's missing, so he's got the stick. He's got the flint. And he's going to put it together to an X, right? And he's going to drink some beer? Is that, is that where you go? <laughs> maybe, maybe not. Yeah, there he goes. <laughs> he just drank a whole keg. Oh, it held 150. Wow. That really turns him into a bunch of tanks. All right, so after a lot of hearty drinks, looks like our warriors are ready to fight. They're here. They're fully equipped. You can see what they're equipped with uh, right here on this menu. Click on this banner, the war banner. So they all got the simple axes, simple arrow and bow. It's the best we can make for now. They all drank beer. <laughs> so I guess they're... Uh, we're ready to do this thing. Let's open the portal. Oh my gosh, the volcano is going off, and we got a fight going here. We shouldn't have any problem with these guys. We have, we have uh, really toughened up. Oh yeah, this is this is this is no problem whatsoever. Really giving it to them. Okay, good. But I know that there's going to be frost monsters. There's going to be things that we're going to need to make sacrifices to try to uh, beat. Uh, but but with, with their altar, but not right now. Oh my gosh, look at that. We even got Laura in there punching him in the face, and she's like our uh, our supplier. <laughs> and she's just like, yeah. She reminds me of like Pam from Archer. Okay, there you go. So we did it. I'll see you guys in the next episode and on the next island.